Hi guys, welcome to my new series, which is a, well, I've called it Ruben's Road to Glory. Basically, I take a team of the season, Ruben Castro, and build a team around him by playing games, maybe a bit of trading if I get into it. But yeah, as, I, as you can see here, I've traded off the Dover, the team of the season, Ruben Castro, from my main account. And I'm basically, I think I'm going to be playing a 4-3-2-1, and it's, I'm going to go for a mainly Spanish team, just because... Uh, I don't want to be too much of a pace abuser. Yeah, you have players like Christian Teo, but I don't think I'm going to go for him. I just want to try using average pace, but quite skillful, good dribbling, good passing, and just try a different style. And um, yeah, so um, I think I'm going to go into my first season's game here. I do get quite good chemistry with my bronze pack, well, considering it's a bronze pack team. Um, Something like, yeah, 81 chemistry. And that's without putting Castro in, though, unfortunately. Um, he's I've used him before. Uh, I used him in a Team of the Season hybrid you might have seen on FIFA Robbie Z's channel, which was amazing. <laughs> Nine Team of the Season players. But yeah, I just I fast-forwarded this bit just because it's me trying to get the best chemistry with Ruben Castro. Um, and I just, I've, when I used him before, I thought in a four-two-three-one, he didn't have that much pace either side of him to get round, get crosses in. Didn't really have that support up top. But with the two, two, uh, the right forward and the left forward, I, th I think he might have a bit more support and he might perform a lot better. But we'll see. I mean, he's got great stats. He's got eighty-six pace, uh, eighty shooting, eighty-two dribbling. I think. And um, this is my first game, as you can see here. Pretty average team, thirty-eight chemistry, probably starter pack players. Um, so he's got a pretty average squad. That left back, that Argentinian left back that everyone seems to get in their starter pack. Anyway, um, O'Connor slides in and finds Ruben Castro. Nice dummy shot inside and a great finesse shot. So, five is that five minutes in? Uh, yeah, five minutes into his uh, first game and my first game for the club, Ruben Castro scores a very very nice goal. The dummy shot completely to the defender, which I thought was quite funny. But yeah, I think he gets one back uh, literally a minute later, ball over the top, and my keeper, being a bronze keeper, is very, very poor, so he has no chance of saving that, unfortunately, and Candias scores, my defence is absolutely nowhere looking at that again, and he does just slot it in easily, but I come back again, and some nice, some actually really nice passing football, uh, finds Derby. Unfortunately, his shot is saved, but he does get a pretty scrappy rebound. Would have been a very nice goal had the first shot gone in. I always find that when I'm playing with starter back teams, there's always my favourite Brom couple of players. That are always the last ones I switch out and perform well for me. But I cardinal sin, rolling out with my keeper under pressure. Uh, he tackles me, simple ball, and a Ramos scores. Um, that's absolutely shocking defending, and it's something I really need to cut out of my game. However, saying that, I do take the lead once more, I believe. And Ruben, great footwork from Ruben Castro. Shot parried and Parkinson with the rebound. So he showed off a bit of his dribbling there. Considering he's quite, he's a bit strong and powerful and quick. But he's also got very good feet, as you saw there. Unfortunately, though, I couldn't hold on to my 3-2 th uh, lead. And he got a very scrappy goal. It was an advantage. But Sylvain Mar Marveau of Newcastle. The uh, French winger gets a, well, effectively a, a tap in for a goal player against a bronze keeper from that that kind of range. Unfortunately, though, my first game does end in defeat as he swings in across and once again it's Marvo at the back post unmarked, who taps in. So I might have to look at getting a new right back sooner rather than later. But I do make a few new signings in this video, so you'll see them coming up shortly. Um, um for, yeah, unfortunately, that's the final whistle. And it goes down as uh, my first defeat, 4-3 loss. But, obviously the positives. I was playing a team with many more goal players than my, than my own. Um, and I still managed to score three goals. It's just the defence that does need uh, need work on. But, I'm going to start off with the attack. And, as I say, defence is the best form of attack. Um, so, I think I'm just going to focus on getting it up to Castro and whoever's up there to support him, who you'll, you'll see in a minute, as I... Ponder who to make as my first signing. Um, I 
want to kind of get quite a balanced midfield. So I don't want all CAMs. I do maybe want someone like a Busquets in there just just to kind of shore it up. Um, but as you can see, I'm looking for a left forward here just because uh, I do want someone to cut in on that uh, left foot. And I was thinking about Teo, but then I decided not to get him um, just because I thought he wouldn't really uh, be be worth it. Three star skill, three star wee foot. Then I saw this Mignayin. Um but then the one the one problem I had with that I was about to buy now. Happy days, three contract, and at this stage you've got to be getting players with a lot of contract left. I search right forward and there's no one. Um, so I then search centre mid, and I'm about to have a look at this Benya as he gets sold. So I'm thinking could be some decent centre mids to be had. I do maybe want to get Benya later on for his free kicks because they are superb. But I, I have a look at DeMarcos and think uh, 76 dribbling, 88 pace for a centre mid for under a thousand coins. I've got to get him, basically. I've got to get him. And that's exactly what I do. I change the search criteria. Um, and I do find a very, very good um, DeMarcos. If you look at, I'm thinking, uh, which one do I buy? 900, 900, 950, 950. Contracts. 91 contracts. At this stage of Ultimate Team, that is vital because oh, I will have to be wasting coins on bronze packs to get contracts and buying contracts is straight up. I've got um, got plenty of contracts. Um, so yeah, that's always a bonus. Always, always a bonus. So I put them into my squad and away we go into our next game. So unfortunately, because he's a centre mid and it's a 4-3-2-1, not a 4-3-3, he doesn't get a chemistry a direct link to Ruben Castro. So I uh, I just put him in the centre centre mid spot. And I because of this I do look to get a right forward uh, right forward or left forward in the coming coming games. Um but I found he's quite a good player because he does he got good uh, solid work, right? Um and he does support Ruben Castro. I had to rest him for a fitness for a couple of games, but you'll see all that in the coming episodes. And I'm going to leave this one here. It's been uh, quite a while, so I want to thank you all for watching. And hopefully you'll join me again on my next Ruben's Road to Glory. Uh, yeah, so thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.